Oh dear. Another dogged contender. Welcome, unkindled one. Purloiner of cinders. Mind you, the mantle of Lord interests me none. The fire-linking curse, the legacy of Lords, let it all fade into nothing. You've done quite enough. Now have your rest. So we're back here because, uh, kind of forgot something. My bad. Don't know how, but forgot the drink blood set. Foolish, foolish me. Radio. Where are we? There we are. Armor of the Drake Blood Knights, worshippers of the blood of dragons. The red cloth is said to symbolize the yearning for blood. Dragon worship has captured the hearts and minds of warriors across the lands. For many ages. Perhaps such words. Warriors. <laughs> are attracted to doctrines of few words. Oh boy, this is what I get for having to do it. Do this at fucking, what? 11.38. Well done. Um, hmm. Sure, fun having a cat. But it's compromising my capacity to fucking record. So yeah, pretty cool. Good cape for a Ganondorf cosplay. Never really noticed the tatter though. Helmets are really cool. I like the set a lot, but uh, I've got my stuff already set out. How's the poise? Oh, worse. That's that's a shame. Right. Um. Do, 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 do. Why am I up here? Stupid, stupid, stupid. Right. Oh, yeah. Before we disappear, one thing I was thinking of. Um, have the brave souls who were here, um, yep, yep, there we go. Try sleep talk. Sorry, dude. Alright, we're gonna head back. There's some shit to do. Uh, so, um, kind of meant to talk to Yuria a while back. Didn't quite happen. Because I'm smart. Sup. Ah, our lord and liege. I presume thy holy vows are sworn. Wonderful. Now thou art the true and deserving lord of hollows. With the spouse, the strength to claim the fire is thine. Thy lordship, I prithee wrest the fire from its mantle. I, Uria. And all Londor embrace thy impending lordship. Our lord and liege, I prithee play the usurper. When the moment cometh to link the fire, wrest it from its mantle. The age of fire was founded by the old gods sustained by the linking of the fire. But the gods are no more, and the all-powerful fire deserveth a new heir. Our Lord of Hollows, it shall be who weareth the true face of mankind. Our Lord, I prithee, when the other our Lord be safe, I prithee rest the flame from its mantle. Right, there, there we go. <laughs> Took long enough. I um, I meant to do that bloody ages ago. You know, I, I was thinking about leaving for another round of thieving. There must be something of use in Lothwick Castle. I, I'm aware of the danger. That castle is a death trap. Not a single man has returned from the castle unscathed, even back in the day. But I don't want to sit around and die a petty rat. And I consider myself your friend. Thank 
thank you for placing your trust in me. <laughs> Don't you worry. I know Lothric like the back of my hand. <laughs> Don't you worry. <laughs> well, time to sock up. All right, Grey Rat. It's been a bash. Goodbye. I will leave for some time. So long for now. Do stay safe, you hear? Or my efforts will have been for naught. <laughs> oh, hello, Andin. <laughs> Don't you worry. <laughs> Goodbye. Do. See you, Grey Rat. What are you looking at? Okay, cool. Gonna have to come back at least probably twice more. I've got one more spell to buy a Vorbeck and some new stuff I'm gonna have to buy too. He's not a factor. Patches is, Patches is however. Boy, oh boy. Alright, let's do this. Now, the only thing I can think of that I haven't done on camera otherwise um, is grabbing Henry Straight Sword and that one soul I missed um, near the lift. Because, you know, I, again, I was being very, very clever. Um, not factoring in the two bosses that I can go fight, but eh. Yeah, give it a sec. Radio. Oh yeah, um, I died farming man serpents. Let's just fix this up, shall we? Where's the perching stones? Alright. Now, due to the overwhelming intellect and wisdom of our Prime Minister, New South Wales has fucked over Victoria yet again and put us in a lockdown. Which means, there's a high likelihood I'm gonna get invaded. Which is about what I expect, to be honest. Now, uh, Christmas Shage, front and center. Just I want spam. Ooh. That's what I call big damage. We'll grab all that shit on the way back. We're gonna be doing laps tonight. Lots and lots of, uh, looping back. Let's just hope any would-be invaders take it, you know, nice on us. So this is Grand Archives. Um, yeah, a little bit of Bloodborne, a little bit of Dark Souls 1, a little bit of End of Bright Zone Cove Soldora, as in that one room where the Duke hangs out. You know, that kind of aesthetic. Wonder if Elden Ring's gonna have anything like this. I mean, we know the answer to that. It's, of course it fucking will. Uh, so these are the scholars. They tried some dank shit. Um, multiple different accounts of dank shit, in fact. This is one of them here. We'll investigate that in a second. Oh yeah, there's an item here. Totally fucking forgot. Huh. Now there's one item I typically forget. So I'm interested to see if I do remember, even though, you know, I'm reminding myself of it right now. Alright. Now we gotta be very careful here. Cause this fuck is a pain in the ass. So these Lothric Knights are a little different to their brothers elsewhere. Um, they fucking love using magic so uh just got to be wary of that we'll have a look at the crystal charm in a second yeah um doesn't work so well if you come from this way chunks wow sick all right while we're wandering on back crystal sage is spamming some bullshit but we're safe down here a sacred chime once once a possession yeah, once a possession of Gertrude, the Heavenly Daughter, and defiled by the scholars of the Grand Archives. The power of crystals granted the scholars a degree of success. In this case, their work enabled this chime to be suitable for both casting miracles and sorceries. 
and it has gentle prayer. Hey, sick. Being invaded already. Cool, cool, cool. Let's get it over with, I guess. Hey, buddy. Yep. Well, shall we? Now, I don't want to trade with this guy. I probably don't have the poise for that. Just got to be careful. Oh. Well. Huh. I expected there to be a little more back and forth, but I, uh, I guess not. Oh well. So, uh, we just dumped our heads in some, uh, wax. Oh yeah, safe hands, by the way. Hmm. Yeah. A chaos gem, huh? Pretty cool. I'm saying that's super delayed. Yeah, so, uh... There is some shit going on here, in case you haven't noticed. Secret lever that is incredibly easy to miss. I assume the Chaos Gem um, is there because of this. If this was a mimic, well, get fucked. One of my favorite weapons in the game, and a spell that got completely fucking neutered. Oh, by the way, this is the room if you want to hide out. Speaking of which. Let's just park ourselves here, just in case. Let's look, look at this first. Forbidden pyromancy amongst foes who internalize flame. Temporarily boost attack, but gradually lose HP. A pyromancer fears the flame. However, this fear subsides once it is accepted as a substitute for strength. Meanwhile, can't use these because I don't quite have the stats. I'm going to get a ring soon that'll help enable that. Which is locks. Same whip you've been seeing me use the whole game, basically. Just has a cool fire effect. A whip fashioned from the black hair of a daughter of the Witch of Isolith, creator of the Chaos Flame. The long, shining locks, woven together to create this whip, imbued with the essence of fire, which can be channeled through the use of this skill. Flame whip. Temporarily coat the whip in fire, with the self same fire, with these... Yeah, the self-same fire as that witch consumed the witch herself. It is said. So it is written. Alright, we are not being invaded again. Cool, good to know. How you doing, buddy? Get fucked. Yeah, um... We're gonna have to chase the lizard. Just give it a sec. Yep, yep. Skull doing that, what a surprise. I'm really surprised how that invasion went, to be completely honest. Um, wasn't expecting it to be that, given, you know, they had a fucking greatsword. Well, an ultra greatsword compared to my greatsword, which is called the greatsword. Because, you know, confusion. Also, yeah, uh, she kind of clips through the floor. Also, that shit can kind of clip sometimes. It's uh, kind of lame. It's not great. Now, this could be super straightforward, this entire session, or it could be super convoluted. You'll notice the wax is worn off, by the way. Not really a problem right now. Dunk ahead head back in it. So yeah, this prevents the curse hands from messing us up, thankfully. Pretty handy. And that switch has tilted access to a treasure chest, just down there. So that's pretty cool, you know. Um, hmm. Oh yeah, I um, did some farming like I implied. I bit the bullet. This is plus 10, this is plus 9. I've got this as a backup. Yep. Should upgrade this though. I kind of just decided, fuck it, I am technically a bleed build. Always has been. Get fucked. Ah, I haven't been hit yet. Be 
bitch. Ah, we're too far. And I did the math. Um, composite bow is always going to be better than the short bow, given our current stats. That was weird. Like, the hand's coming through the floor. Um, even if we had a tiny bit less strength, the composite bow would be superior. Uh, main reason I have both bows, the Black Pharos and um, Composite, is because the Composite bow lets us do the rolling shot. I meant to put Silver Cat on. Boy, am I fucking clever. God, I'm a genius. I'm just used to tanking the hit, in all honesty. So, alright, while Snake Eater subtly plays in the background, Secret Scroll of the Grand Archives of Lothric. Give to a sorcerer to learn crystal sorceries. These sorceries have worked with the Pale Drake Seed for Scalus, whom Logan is said to have met. A branch of sorcery that has been carried on by the Crystal Sages. And we're back up here. Sorry, just cut audio because I uh, figured I might have to have a conversation for a sec, but evidently not. These guys have heated their weapons. Um, so it'll hurt a lot if we get waxed. Um, yeah, that was kind of annoying with what just happened. Ow, you fucker. So if you get hit by enough wax, you start to fat roll, and that is not an enjoyable time. I bet you don't. Shortcut just that away. But perhaps some goodies this way. Oh great, this ran out at the right time. Won't really affect us dealing with Chucklefuck here. But, you know, there's some books. Alright, last one in the game. Don't die now. And... Get fucked. Have a look at that in a little bit. Yeah, the implication seems to be he is totally asleep. Not dead, just having a nap. Sorcery imparted by the first of the scholars when Lothric and the Grand Archives were but young. Fires a torrential volley of souls. The first of the scholars doubted the linking of the fire and was alleged to be a private mentor to the royal prince. A couple of people it could be. Could be Pontiff. Could be Aldia. Could be Patches. No. No, not the last one. Man, looking at this closely, kind of reminds me of Urizen, actually, from DMC5. Armor of an Irifil Outrider Knight, enveloped in a dimly cool air. They were given the Pontiff Rings, but the eyes transformed them into savage, raving warriors who only knew how to serve as mindless guards. God, they're being a little harsh to Bort and Co, aren't they? My flamboyage is not called Vort, sadly. Yeah, I don't know what I'm... I, I haven't nicknamed it, to be honest. Hmm. I have to think of a good nickname. No, probably not going to bother, let's be honest. Hiding corner, not worth it, but you could. We don't judge. Another little shortcut here, not the primary one. Really easy to miss this switch. How about that? Let's wax on up. Meanwhile, the Scholar Ring, which I've been waiting for all for a while. A ring engraved with a portrait of a scholar increases int. In Lothric, the scholar has been long considered one of the three pillars of the King's Rule, and is therefore master of the Grand Archives. So, yeah. <laughs> you little fuckers. 
Crystal Lizard down there. We shall take care of him in but a moment. I don't know why I'm doing a shitty mock French accent. Mmm. Delicious time. The, uh, the wax is still in the files as, an, as a piece of armor we can totally get. But, uh, hmm. It would take some doing and some hacking. I know some people have kind of glitched it by warping around while they've got their uh, head in wax. Um, and it's kind of stayed for a while. Um, it, it eventually disappears, but you can technically wear it for a bit longer. Wait, why am I going this way? That's why I have to go after the fact. So as I said, I've been busy. I used a bunch of these up. Well, one of these. Now we have another. So we have two. So Black Blade can go to plus ten. I swear I'll try to use it a little more than not at all. And now I'm going this way because that's what I intended to do. To do this and loop back round. Yeah, yeah, let's head back. Fuck it. I'd rather hang round and keep going, but... Easier to head back. Have to go give Orbeck some goodies. Hey, BN. Oh, Locust. Locust Hand. Oh, and Moonlight Greatsword. Bagheera. What do you got? Llewellyn and Black Knight. Neat. Oh, really? Oh, ne never would have guessed. Only two, though. Hmm. Could I be over-leveled? No. It's everyone else who's under-leveled. Clearly. And to be fair, I, you know, I did, what, 90% of Ariandel? Implying the bosses are 10%, respectively. We'll be doing that eventually. Not that. This. But not that. Let's see. Okay, cool. I want to get one level of this. Just because we're going to get a ring in a tiny bit. I would like some more endurance. Alright. As you, as you will see. He's gone. Tragically. Oh yeah, we still got the uh, wax on. Cool. Got to talk to Orbeck. Got to talk to Patches. Back again, I perfect time. Hey Orbeck, I found some shit. Unfathomable. This is a crystal sorcery created by the Pale Dragon. Thought only to exist in legend. I am ever grateful to you. This is truly sublime. I am afraid this is a debt I cannot repay. Only. I will be sure to unravel it for you. Just a moment. I like the part where he went unfathomable as my head turned back into, um, all to normal, to my witch's hat. Crystal Soul Spear. Further sharpened Soul Spear via crystallization. Fires a piercing Crystal Soul Spear. According to the Crystal Sages, Old Big Hat achieved enlightenment within the Regal Archives, where he came to find the quintessence of sorcery in the facets, facets of a certain crystal, being Crystal of Seif the Bitch. Uh, yeah, um, Crystal Magic Weapon. Logan found the Crystal Medium facilitated a stronger bowl between weapon and soul. And I think it's just this, right? Yeah, should be. Um, mm-hmm. Same, basically. According to the Crystal Sages, Enlightenment, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay. Promise to stay safe. Sure, dude. Alright. We got everything off Arena, right? Oh, yeah. I should go check on her at some point. Oh, yeah. Never grab the Firekeeper set. Well, well I'm not doing it now. Well, Maybe. We'll put it on just in case I decide to try my luck. Yeah, I know that feeling. <laughs> Be nice. Hey, what happened to Grey Rat anyhow? I haven't seen him at all lately. Well, if you know where he scurried off to, be sure and tell me. But I need to stock up. 
And if he's gone and croaked, he'll have left a gold mine. <laughs> hmm. Off to Lothric, the castle of no return. That old thief's lost it if he thinks he has a chance in there. It's not like he's new to this game. What's got into him? That old thief. He's really lost it this time. My amazing camera work. And I'll get the fire keeper set later. So I lied, that's something I haven't done either. Soon. Tomorrow night. You. What do you mean? Like he's threatening me or something. It's just a mound maker. Yeah. I'm just a mound maker. Uh, if you can't tell, I've been re-watching old clips of Aquatine Hunger Force. I've got a fucking box set. I should get around to watching it one day. That's some good sh That's some good shit. Um, yeah, Leonhardt's gonna get his relatively soon. After this, basically. And before Royal Rat Revengeance and uh, Freed the Feature-Length Musical. I'm sure both will go swimmingly. Well, Leonhardt will. He'll be fucking dead easy. Um, by the way, you can hang out in this corner and poison Crystal Sage really easily. Also, the textures took a sec to load in. If you if you have Toxic Mist, let alone just Poison Mist, it'll work incredibly well. You shit lord. Thank you. All is forgiven, you fuck. Alright. Let's pop this on for a sec. That'll do it. Alright, that'll do it. I should have shown off the uh, shenanigans you can perform with Boreal Dickhead. You can totally trap him on this, it's pretty great. He freaks out super hard, he doesn't know what to do. You can jam him right in there. On either level, it's great. <laughs> he's a complete idiot and tra when he's trapped like this. So yeah, as you can see, in spite of my slumbering dragon crest ring, which you saw me just put back on. Um, yeah, they are uh, totally no... When I'm coming to stab him. Or at least these ones do. Yeah, I'm just going to tank for damage. I really don't care at this point. So we'll we'll have to come back sooner or later. And not just because of the ladder. Again, I have my fucking Lucerne. Wait. Hold on. Wait, shut up, you. Leave me alone. Actually, wait. No, what am I saying? I have Carpus Curve Great Sword. Could probably do it. So eventually, in one of the seats I destroyed. Probably this one, I think. We'll find Orbeck once we've bought all his stuff and beaten the, uh, the boss of this place. Also, this chest is really bl bloody easy to miss. You know what? Let's pop this on. I'm going to be taking Chip. Hey, buddy. Also, I thought I was going fucking nuts. Let's see if shield. There we go. Pop this on. Regen a tiny bit. I'm thinking the uh, Flesh Bite Ring wasn't a thing in this game and it was from the mods but no I'm dumb it's here let's have a look shall we it's up the top what am I fucking doing one of the bite rings native to Kareem raises poison bleed frost and curse resist the crafting of these rings is forbidden perhaps owing to the fear of malleable stone clerics however dabble freely in the art same as always You're going to sit here and you're going to like... No, I'm going to stop that. I've got enough health back, fuck it. It's not going to help too much with gargs. Actually, while I'm thinking of it... It's a bit heavy, so let's downgrade the leggings. There we go. I want to demonstrate something. Uh, let's be honest, I'm not fucking using the whip on these guys anyway. So these guys, I uh, misidentified. They're pilgrim butterflies. Not the angels. The angels are DLC only. Alright, buddy. It's a little easier if you uh, have a spell. But let's see. I want him to fly up. Okay. Good to know that counted. Ah, uh, yeah, but um, 
guess I'm not really in a position to show it up after all that. That's irritating. But yeah, um, pyromancy, sorceries, and I presume dark miracles. Or just miracles, you know, everything. Just fucking pass through them, midair. They cease to have a hitbox. It's, um, well designed. It's great. I, uh, I like it a lot. Very fair. Silver Knight? Fuck no. That's for nerds. Little Corvian gang down there. We'll uh, take care of them in a moment. Hey, buddy. Push off the spot. Now, if this guy does exactly just the right move, what will happen is he'll fucking throw himself off this cl off the <laughs> cliff. What am I saying? Off the building. I'm gonna give up in a sec, but. Yeah, thinking about it, how cool would it be if you could descend properly to the, to the base? Technically you can, but not really. Alright, that's enough of that. He can jam himself in there too and just kind of... He, he won't have enough full damage, but... He'll, uh... Look really dumb. Yeah, slash weapons, how do they work? Um, not as well as strike, that's how. I should have really upgraded one of those maces by now. Oh well. So I misspoke. Uh, many months ago. A few weeks for you guys. One of these guys gives, gives us the third guaranteed sharp gem in the game. Also there's Gargoyle. But we're just going to ignore him. I don't care if he hits me. I, I, I know what I said. We're going to ignore you. So the other one got away because it's a shit. Oh well. It had a heavy jam. So I didn't really look, but you can see him just kind of chilling up there. Um, and if you shoot him with an arrow, he kind of despawns in a weird, awkward looking way. Alright, well, fuck it. Let's just go down and take care of this, shall we? You know, I fucked up. I should have said hello there. Yeah, so there's nothing over here, but... For separating Corbians, it might be worthwhile. Oh yeah, until they do that. I fucking hate these guys so much. They're not even that tough. They're just really irritating at lower levels in particular. Um, yeah, nothing here. Kind of a... Kind of a disappointment. I know I know we can't be invaded there, and we can't pee... Oh! Eyes of lift down there. Uh, we can't PvP or anything, but... Man... Like, if only you could descend all the way down. Like, look, if there's even a little fucking spot. You can land there fine. If this was uh, Sekiro, you probably could. In fact, that's how it would be designed. Hey, buddies. Alright, you're the only enemies that's gonna fucking work on, but screw it. They can clip me, but doesn't matter when I can clip them harder. I misspoke, evidently. Bitch. Yeah, so I used to think it was kind of superfluous coming down here, but... Well, you know. It's easy to forget this exists. Um, and I... Yeah, no, I didn't actually come and uh, kick him. But... This guy's kind of chilling, just near where we have the switch for the scholar ring. No point really. Would have been free souls, but I was dumb and I forgot. Somehow. Actually, yeah, that's really odd. I got so caught up in talking about the scholar ring. Yeah, the scholar ring, I guess. All right. Now, this is one of those instances you don't actually need to reload um, to get, well, to have someone leave Firelink. Because Greyrat is dead 100%. If we head back, Patches is gone until we kill a boss. Umbral Ash of Greyrat of the Undead Settlement. With this, the Shrine Handmaid will prepare new items. He was a thief who fancied himself a martyr for the poor, which is what drove him to climb the wall. 
I meant to joke, he knows Lofric Castle like the back of his hand. The irony being he doesn't wear gloves. So that's why he died, he took too much damage from the Garg. Yeah, that's totally what happened. Yeah, bit of a profane capital over there. Like look, the bonfire's right there. Would have it been too much to ask for a fucking ledge? Like right there. Oh, evidently. Oh, Z fighting. Lovely. Yeah, all these little... I wouldn't call them missed opportunities, because it's just verticality, but... Still, it's kind of odd. Why the hell wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you give such options? Just... I have no idea. I can't understand it. I can't understand it. Oh. Whoop. So there's geometry down there, but there's a kill box. So that's a no-go for for good old Baron, I guess. Alright. Oh. 36 and a half minutes, cool. This is going well. Yeah, f shut up. That guy really likes his pot shots. Um, only reason I'm still using Shield of Want is I don't really have a replacement I fancy. I mean like what? Um this black black knight shield's a bit overdone it look cooler but it's heavier yeah but i'm getting more souls so no plus it facilitates me uh you know not having to farm as much and being able to maintain a decent amount of levels for lp convenience all right chuckle fucks back I think you'll see me no matter what, because I can't approach him in a safe fashion. Well, maybe I can. Yeah. So that's why kicking isn't worth it half the time with these fuckers. Nope. Oh, fuck. Just a tiny bit of stamina missing. Get stuffed. Really? No. No, you don't. So that's totally a way we can take. Doesn't matter because we might as well go the other way. What the hell was that? Ah. Yeah. It's a little root or something. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I totally lied when I said there was no gargoyle fight in this game, as in akin to DS1 or DS2. Because, um, Twin Garg's right here. Let's see if we can facilitate it. There we go. Now, sometimes this guy will make it, but other times he falls like an idiot. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, their uh, wing bullshit is really frustrating. Oh, what? Wait, what? Huh. Never knew you could repost them. Sick. Uh, their wing bullshit is really fucking frustrating. Uh, due to the nature of iframes and the spear. Um, the gargs can totally get jammed in this little gap. And eventually they'll keel over and die. You know, eventually. Hence the eventually of eventually. Yeah, so um, the eclipse is going on. Um, if you look in the correct direction, you can probably see Zod flying. Um, now tonight, you for real though. Actually tonight, you. Hmm. Yeah, we'll take this way. If yeah, this, this is the annoying part, the constant looping back, and it's like, well, you could have just not jumped off and fought the gargoyles, um, two on, you know, one on two. No, no, didn't really want to do that. Now I won't demonstrate him falling to his death because that requires me to look back, and I'd rather not have to do that. Just probably heal. Yep, okay, yep. Never knew that was a thing. 
Mostly because I don't farm these guys. I farm in the profane capital. Time for praise the sun, huh? Put your glasses on, nothing will be wrong. It's up to you, pilgrim butterfly. Man, what's the fucking berserk speech? You know, voids intro. Yeah, have some weeb complain about. No, the, uh, the job takes away the gravitas of the, uh, the original Japanese version. Even though they both sound cool, so shut up. Ah, uh, Undead Bone Shard, the last one of the game. Sugoi. Ladder down to here. So the idea is you would, you know, walk over here, dunk your head in this, and then grab the soul. No. No, I don't think I will. I think I'll just tank for damage. These guys work a lot better if you approach the other way. I've been meaning to upgrade this. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, so I can't even lock on to him from here. Bitch. Yeah, come on. Really? Aha. Uh -huh. I see. I see. Interesting. Alright, uh, time to get myself killed at a terrible, terrible point to do so. But I want to use this thing for a bit. Hey, look, it's the guy that fucked me up several times in uh, one of the previous recording sessions. Yeah, why can't we have anything like that as a player? How about you don't do that? I knew he was dead, but I didn't want to take any risks. And here we are. Cool. Again, just give me some fucking ledges and let us hop all the way down. That'd be awesome. Oh. Summon sign. Cool. Very cool. Oh, by the way, this thing is the strongest now. It's stronger than my flamberge. Unsurprisingly, but... Probably still does less on crits. Nothing that way, sadly. Nothing over here. There's them. But there's a statue here, too. Kind of makes me wonder if it's meant to just be, like, you know, the scholars. Or if it is actually Aldia, like, people... People wonder. You have statues like this. A framped and or calf, or just a serpent in general. Never looked up here. It doesn't quite go full eyes lift. That's good, that's good. Cool. Alright. Uh, yeah, no, fuck it, we'll use this. Alright. So we have Kamui, the Black Hand, Albert the Lion Knight, and Krimheld, who is a sorcerer. Obviously meant to be that, uh, gank and demon souls. Where I got my shit pushed in. By, who was it? It was meant to be Penetrator, Tower Knight, and, oh, by the way, he, he probably wouldn't have trade. And Longbow Ulin. Who I heard was a guy, after the fact. Albert's a fucking badass, by the way. Out of these, uh, out of these builds, these characters, Albert's my preferred way of playing, if I had to choose, but... Um... How Kamui is, is kind of what I wanted to be the whole game, but the Flamburge kind of changed that. I don't, I don't like pure casters, especially ink casters, I'd rather mix it up. Caught on a wall, fantastic. Healing's okay, because they have heals too. And I like me great axes. There we go. Love me some great axes. Yoink. Harry Viss. So, uh, Crystal Hail, which I can guarantee as a player will never really help you as much as it helps Prim Held. Helps her even less because, you know, she's dead. Crystal Sage of Staff. And we picked up the other two, right? Nope. Okay, that's what I was thinking of. Makiri and Ubeachi. Let's have a look as we descend back to, well, the bonfire. Alright, plenty of souls. You know what, fuck it, we might as well head back. Grab a level or two, well, two levels, buy some more Orbex stuff. We'll head on down. So, let's have a look, shall we? On Kiri and Ubadachi. 
The hunters known as King's Black Hands wielded paired weapons. These belonged to Kamui, who looked after the prince. Kamui brought Onokiri with him to the undead settlement, where he formed, forged Ubadachi, and was finally, pre pre finally prepared to join the ranks of the royal hunters. On his lair, um, do a jump like the claws. What do you look like? Oh. Wonder if that was the, wonder if that was our friend I murked. Maybe, he was a mound maker, so...